Hey, hello friends. Welcome again to another problem solving session on triangles. The given question says, if PQ is perpendicular to PS, let's identify that. So if you see, this is perpendicular here. This angle is 90 degrees. PQ is perpendicular to PS. PQ is parallel to SR also. So this, these two lines are parallel. And SQR is 28 degrees. So this angle is SQR 28 degrees. It's given. QRT is 65. So this angle is given 65. Then find the values of X and Y. So this X and here is Y. We have to find these two values. So again, uh, we will go by whatever we have learned and mostly the sum of three angles of a triangle that is angle sum property and exterior angle theorem. Both these would be applicable. Let's see how. So uh, what else is given? So um, if you see, let's start with, um, yeah, so solution. So if you see, given is PQ parallel to SR. What does that mean? That means angle QPS plus angle PSR will be equal to 180 degrees. And why is that? Consecutive interior angles, co-interior angles. So consecutive interior angles. Of a transversal, isn't it? Consecutive interior angles on a transversal or of a transversal. What is the transversal here? Transversal here is this line PS. This line PS is the transversal. PQ and SR are parallel lines. So clearly, this angle plus this angle will be 180 degrees. That's what I have written. So I can find now. Uh, QPS is given to be 90 degrees, right? No. So hence 90 degrees plus PSR is 180 degrees. That means angle PSR can be easily found out and that is nothing but 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. So 90 degrees. So PSR is also 90 degrees. Let me show it like that. Okay. So if that is 90 degrees, now, if I somehow find out QSR, then I can find out why. So let's try to find out QSR. QSR is this angle. So what I'm going to say is angle QRT, angle QRT is equal to angle QSR plus angle Q, angle SQR. And why is that? This is because of external angle theorem. External angle theorem and what is that theorem that theorem says that external angle this angle will be equal to sum of interior opposite angles that means this one and this one my friend right so let me write it here now so yeah what do i get from here then so i get 65 degrees that is qrt is equal to 28 degrees plus angle qsr isn't it? So I will get QSR from here. This implies QSR angle QSR is how much? 65 degrees minus 28 degrees, which is nothing but 37 degrees. Isn't it? So I got QSR as 37 degrees. So what is Y? Y will clearly be. So you can now find out Y. For that matter, before finding out Y, if you see angle QSR is equal to angle PQY, PQY, which is equal to, sorry, PQS, not Y, PQS, PQS, and that is equal to X. And why is this? This is because of alternate interior angle of two parallel lines, isn't it? PQ is parallel to SR. So clearly this angle and this angle are same alternating interior so this will be x as well right so we got x and this is equal to nothing but 37 degrees so x is 37 degrees now x plus y is 90 degrees see from the figure x plus y if this angle is x this angle is x 
this angle is y so x plus y is 90 degrees x i have already found out so y will be simply 90 degrees minus x right which is equal to 90 degrees minus 37 degrees which will give you 53 degrees so y is 53 degrees right so you could find out x is 37 and y is 53 degrees that is how you solve the problem so the two things which we learned or which we used here is again angle sum property so wherever there is a triangle and angles are involved so angle sum property will come handy and secondly is exterior angle theorem exterior angle theorem sum of two interior opposite angle is equal to the exterior angle that is something which we need to apply right i hope you understood the problem